Hello, and welcome to episode one of Way of the Laser. Uh, I am your host, Vichizo, and I'm here to teach you guys about how to have fun playing Space Pirate Trainer and get high scores like I've got. Who am I? Why do I have authority? I'll show you right now. Number one, I'm number 44 on the scoreboard, all-time mixed. Number two, I am number four worldwide right there. There's me on uh, shot work, so I know a little bit about what I got going on here in this game. I'm also 72 ion, railgun at number 20, raygun at 30, pulse laser 67, and quark 21. So I know a little bit about how to play this game. I'm definitely not the best in the world, but I can definitely try to share some expertise with you guys. Um, so number one, my favorite, obviously, is Shotworks. Um, and the reason why this is good, this is important for everyone to know, um, is that they kill bosses very, very, very fast. Even if you have just a laser shield out here, and you've got this shot works, that's the bottom right, right there on the touch pad. That is the shot works right here. It kind of looks like a happy little festive thing here. So when I say it kill boss, it kills bosses fast. Let me show you what I'm talking about. I'm gonna go to wave 15. There's always a boss in wave 15. Um, so we got these little guys right here, and we got this boss. So we'll, really quickly, we're just gonna go ahead and take him down, and he's done. He's not even a problem before you even really get hit or shot by any of these other ads, you've already taken out the big guy, so now you're good to go. So you can decide from here if you want to go ahead and change to some other weapon, you know, like maybe you want to do some grenades here, get some big combos. But the thing is, is that you want to get rid of these bosses, and they show about every 10, I think, 10, 15 waves or so. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and take a couple of shots here to get back to the main jump menu here. And boom, of course, slow down whenever you get hit. There you go. All right, so the scatter shot takes down bosses real fast. So that's one of the reasons why it's my favorite. And obviously I can do pretty good with that weapon as well. Um, so the other thing to, to realize is that um, other than the uh, park cannon here, also known as the pistol shot, um, almost everything else takes time to travel to the target. So what I mean is that you're not gonna instantly hit whatever it is you see. So you need to always be thinking ahead about what the robots you want to hit are about to do. Don't look at where they are, look at where they're gonna be, also known as leading the shot. If you've ever actually shot anything in real life or even played any of the video games, you know you have to point ahead of the target that's moving. So, in this case, you always wanna leave the target. So make sure that if you're, you've got a weapon that has a time to travel, such as these grenades here, you need to be able to shoot all the way back there. And of course, you can detonate the grenades at any time. So, let's go ahead and take a look at what that looks like in action here. We're gonna start a classic run here real fast. So, we're gonna start at the top of the stack here with our pistol shot here, also known as the official name, the Quark Cannon. Uh, now, if you don't know this already, the very first wave, this guy will never, ever, ever shoot you. Um, and so, you can always just kind of get in here and get fixed up. What I like to do is I like to take this very first wave. I like to make sure that my headset is adjusted. I always wanna make sure that my IPD is set. That's the little thing in the bottom right over here of your mask. Um, I always want to make sure that that's properly set because that gives you proper depth perception. Without the proper depth perception, you're not going to know if this guy is just a few feet in front of you here or if he's way out in the distance over there. So you need to have that IPD set at all times. So again, this first wave here, this guy's never going to shoot you. You don't have to worry about him bothering you at all. Get yourself some time, move around, get comfy, get your trigger fingers nice and warmed up as well. So here we go, I'm gonna show you what this means here. Again, we're on this quark cannon at the top of the stack. One single shot, boom, it hits the target as soon as I pull the trigger, and pulling the trigger again. See, right as I pull the trigger, it hits right where I expect. Now, when we go to the pulse laser over here, this is gonna take time to travel. See, I'm pulling the trigger, and it's actually, you can see, it takes time to travel out of my gun, just like the lasers that are incoming from the bad guys as well. So you're basically firing the same kind of bullet shot, uh, similar enough anyway, to the bad guys here. So again, lead the shot. This guy's going down this way. We're gonna go ahead and lead the shot. See, my shot just down to the left where he'll be. This guy's going left. Oh, now he's going up. So let's go shoot, see, to the left of him here, and we got him. So this guy right here, he's going left again, so we're gonna do this. I'm just gonna try to spray, spray where you know he's going. And it, obviously it's not easy if they're using a non-dominant hand, so let's go ahead and switch back over to this one here. It's, all right. So we're gonna go ahead and shoot to the right of him. See, my gun was way over here. The shots took time to travel. So now we got the Shotworks gun here. Again, this has time to travel. So we wanna lead the target and squeeze. So we got a little bit of damage on him right there. This next guy, boom. 
See, I missed because I thought he was going to go left. He went right. No big deal. So this is why when it comes to the scatter shots, you'll see me shoot very, very, very quickly because I want to try to cover the whole potential areas that the bad guy can be dodging into. So let's go ahead and just do a little, little circle here. Big leads. So it's lead. See, I had my guns pointed way over here just to get a guy as he's moving that way. This guy's moving right. And I'm shooting where he's going to end up. Don't shoot where he is. Shoot where he's going to end up. All right. So now we got that lead in. We're going to switch down to the rail guns here. Now, these ones are hard because you have to press and hold. And for me, I'm not super great with them, but I can do decently well. So the important thing with this one is these take time to travel as well. All these guns take time to travel. When you're in slow-mo, they will be even slower. So let's show a real-time shot here. Real-time, that's how fast these lasers come out. Pretty quick, but definitely you can see a little bit of travel time there. And as I shoot here, boom. So pretty quick, but again, it's not instantaneous. So you need to be able to get red, get used to charging and holding these, because in slow-mo, it's going to take longer to charge. So let's go ahead and see what that looks like here. Real time, and I'm going to press and hold and fire. Press and hold, fire. Press and hold, fire. In slow-mo, it's press, hold, and I have to press and hold a little bit longer. So we're going to go ahead and take these guys out here. A couple of quick shots. Again, leading the target, even if they're falling. You can go ahead and try to lead the target when they're falling. All right, so we got that down. Now we're going to go to these rays here. Just like Ghostbusters, you cross those streams, and it makes a sick shot. Um, these do run out of ammo very quickly. You'll see these little gauges right here. These will actually empty out the more you use them, sort of like an overheating mechanic. See how these things are in the red now, and I can't shoot anymore. I'm pulled in the trigger still, and I cannot shoot whatsoever. And they're flashing red, showing me I've done screwed up and held them for a little too long. And so now I can let go, let them recharge briefly here. And see, I still have, again, I still have no shot here, so this is one of the drawbacks. Cooldown, big cooldown, but this means that this weapon can be pulsed, as I'm doing right here. You can pulse them into a stream together. And see, notice they're not overheating, they're still in the green. You can pulse them together for that single big shot right in the middle. And you can get a little bit of a combo there. Not a whole lot, nothing to brag about. But again, time to travel. These guys are great because they're instant, you know, but as long as you move your hand to the target, they can't really, uh, you know, they don't need to travel in any way. But the issue obviously is, is that this is a little powerful and it does break down, especially if you're in the middle of a firefight and you have a lot of guys you need to kill. One of the great things about these lasers is crowd control. These lasers instantly stop anybody shooting you. Uh, basically, they're an interruptive shot. So this guy, when he lights up, he's going to tell me that he's going to shoot me. Yep, he's getting ready to shoot, so I'm going to go ahead and tell him no. So all I did was any kind of damage put on an enemy immediately cancels out their shots, even if it doesn't kill him. See, I just basically tapped him right there. He was going to shoot three. He only shot one. So we'll go ahead and see if he'll do it again. I think this next shot will probably kill him, but that's okay. Oh, messy, and not a lot of damage inflicted on me. He's definitely dying, but I've now interrupted him. I don't have to dodge any shot that isn't coming at me. So the idea is you can dodge all day long, but guess what? Eventually you're gonna get tired, something bad's gonna happen, you're gonna, you know, zig when you should have zagged. That's gonna happen, it's just guaranteed, it's just math. But in the meantime, you need to make sure that these shots aren't happening so that you don't have to worry about dodging them. So it's more important to make it that these guys don't shoot you than it is to make sure that you kill them. So I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of tag a couple of them here. See, little tags. And these guys are trying to shoot me. They're barely getting anything out because I'm just tapping them real quick. I'm telling them no. So always try to go for the guys that are going for you. As you move along here, you know, whatever it is you're doing. If you're moving, see me, I'm moving left and right across my play space here. I have a large play space. My play space encompasses this whole area right here. So this is what I'm moving in at all times as I'm talking to you here. So for you, you need to make sure that whatever you're doing, you can go ahead and move and still keep shooting and canceling guys. Now, why is that important? Because if you don't, these guys are just going to constantly keep shooting you. Look at all these shots I'm having to dodge. If I went there instead of here, that guy was going to shoot seven. He only shot one. I'm saved a little bit of effort because, of course, I want to get to those high scores. I want to get in those higher levels. So we're going to go ahead and just finish out this wave here really fast and move on to our next weapon. Of course, we had a power up there. That's okay. Green power up. Good for single uh, machine guns, basically. 
All right, so this power up's about to run out. By the way, power ups are show you the duration left on the control pad here. I only recently noticed that, so that's a little tip for you. So now we're gonna go ahead and look at the grenades finally here. I shoot those up, explode them. Now, one of the interesting things about grenades is that they have the ability to, especially when shot together, do a ton of damage whenever you see voids, which are, or like black holes, which are the purple power-ups. Um, I don't think I've gotten one of those yet. So let's see if we can get a purple power-up. Oh, all right, as I spoke, that, oh, of course if I can't, there we go. See, now that is gonna be our black hole there. So this gun is fantastic. Let's see if we can kind of corral these guys into where we're going. We're gonna shoot two in there. See now, what's happening is they're bouncing around in there. They're just waiting now. Boom! You hit the release button and it explodes all of them together. We're gonna see if we can do it again. Boom! See that big combo, big, 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 big combo. So if you ever get a black hole and you're just going for a regular run, trying to get some high scores, you can impress all your friends by getting that black hole, switching to double grenades and just launch them into that black hole because they'll not bounce around. It'll just stick in the center near the bad guys and blow them all up all at once. So I think that's uh, that's it for our first episode here. Way the laser, thanks for joining us. I'm Vichizo, like, subscribe. Let me know what you think. I'm definitely taking some feedback right now. And uh, thanks 